earlier discussion on environmental modification, electromagnetic, military, and biological aspects of the aerosol issue, it is not unreasonable to consider interactions with the Earth as a whole. It is not impossible that there may be connections between the energy levels of this altered plasma of the Earth and geophysical processes, including Earth changes. There has been increased attention in recent months by prestigious scientific organizations, mainstream media, and the Defense Department itself on dramatic Earth changes that are foreseen in the not-too-distant future. These discussions center on major climatic change and geophysical field changes, such as the magnetic field. Under disclosure is the likelihood that these changes occur much more rapidly than was previously supposed. It is at least a theoretical reality that a plasma sheath around the Earth can accumulate energy. This originates from the combination of increased electron density and low frequency energy propagation. There are many questions that can be asked as to how and if this energy can be harnessed to affect the Earth. The many abnormal Earth changes already on the record during the recent years certainly offer a motive for examining the energy transfer between the Earth and the now altered atmosphere. You have seen traces of a world still in a state of beauty, and you have seen the signs of a terrible change. It will be for you to decide if the claims of this documentary are true or not. You have seen the distinctions between what mankind has known for decades to be in harmony with our surroundings and that which is a product of our urge for technological supremacy over nature. You have seen a clear sky, this blue that was but is no more the sky that has been taken away from us all. You have been confronted with assertions of operations on a scale never seen before in the history of mankind. And you have been shown evidence that aircraft can alter and have altered the fragile envelope for life that we call the atmosphere. You have seen science and sampling applied to the problem over and over at the grassroots level. Numerous methods have been demonstrated that show artificial and deliberate modification of the atmosphere, including its chemical, thermal, electromagnetic, and physical properties. There are detrimental effects that can be anticipated and that have been observed as a result of these changes in our air, and we must all accept the consequences of the toxic environment that has been created. The health of our home and lives have been sacrificed in the search for dominion and control. You have witnessed a high level of interest in the subject of this documentary by the military branches at the highest level, the intelligence services, the chemical industry, research organizations, defense contractors, bioengineering firms, and the pharmaceutical complex. You have heard the responses of the public, government, and even environmental organizations in response to the innumerable requests by the public for investigation. These responses repeatedly revert to describing phenomena that are normal and commonly observed, while denying and dismissing the extraordinary observations that sensible and reasonable citizens have called attention to. There has been a sustained campaign to ridicule and discredit the cumulative efforts of years of research, activism, and devotion by countless individuals acting from the motive of concern for the health of this planet and its inhabitants. A free and democratic society, if it is to continue to exist, must be able to openly discuss the benefits of technological and military supremacy against the deleterious impact upon the environment that we as global citizens must share. Divine rights of humankind must assume their rightful place amongst the individual nation's right for military security and secrecy. You have heard the responses of only a few citizens and professionals who state their sensible concerns about the impact of the aerosol operations upon our environment and our health. The lack of time prevents the presentation of the awareness that is now known to be shared by a grassroots network that conservatively must include millions of people. The extent of this awareness across national boundaries is apparent 
and this network is of global proportion. The control of media information by relatively few corporate interests appears to be a significant factor in the restriction of honest and open public discourse on the aerosol issue. The attempts at ridicule of this issue by the U.S. military establishment should also be evaluated as to intent and motive. You have been provided with an analysis of the potential agendas of the aerosol operations, the conduct of environmental, military, electromagnetic, biological and geophysical operations are each consistent with the vast body of information and evidence that has been accumulated over a period of more than five years. This result has been reached with the painstaking efforts of numerous citizens, researchers and activists across the country and around the globe. Many of the operations under consideration would appear to regard the welfare of human beings, the life of this planet and our environment as a low priority. Many people having become convinced of the reality of these operations, will naturally ask the question, what can I do to help? It is also known from experience in history that many of these same individuals feel helpless and powerless after they confront the immensity and complexity of the operations. They also often become disillusioned after encountering the predictable and disingenuous responses of our public servants. It is also known that the traditional methods of dissent and activism are no longer working and the political process is failing in a constitutional sense. Petitions have been signed and disregarded. Appeals for investigation are dismissed. Calls for media involvement lead to crafted articles of ridicule. Even the legitimacy of the voting process itself is in question. There is no comfortable, reassuring and simple answer that can be given to you. This is the reality that we must face. It is expected that any success will eventually result from an enormous groundswell of grassroots activism and open public protest. At the current rate of progress, a timeline of decades can be projected before we reach the level of influence that is needed. The sober counter-reality is that the health of this planet is not likely to give us such a generous allowance of time. Our atmosphere is our lifeblood, and like the proverbial frog in the warming pot of water, we are acting obliviously to our own demise. You will have to use your talents and resources, your gift of life, to help this planet. The role of this researcher has been to give you the best information of what is believed to be the true nature of the aerosol operations. You will have to determine your role and exercise that role while you still have the opportunity to do so. If you are a professional, you must inquire into the ethics of your profession and answer the questions of public service that accompany it. If you are a citizen, you must participate. If you remain silent in the hope of preserving your freedom and security, you are almost certain to lose both. The doctor, the journalist, the scientist, the lawyer, the politician, the environmentalist, the activist, the author, the filmmaker, the fundraiser, the organizer, you must all assume your roles openly, publicly, and quickly to offer any real hope for our survival. I make this appeal to you. This documentary is a not-for-profit venture. It has been made with an appeal to you personally in mind. It may be freely copied in its entirety and distributed. No individual is permitted to distribute this documentary with a profit motive. It has been created for the benefit of the public. Please help us to restore and regain the world that you know can exist.